Autoimmune polyglandular syndrome type 1, also called APS type 1, or autoimmune polyendocrinopathy candidiasis ectodermal dystrophy, also called APECED, is a rare genetically inherited condition. Autoimmune means that the body's immune system begins to attack its own tissues, and polyglandular means that multiple hormone-producing organs are affected. Normally, your body should only react to things that are foreign or not self. This is maintained by a process called immune tolerance, where only non-self-reactive B cells and T cells are allowed to mature, whereas self-reactive ones aren't. For T cells, this process takes place in the thymus, where a gene called AIRE, or autoimmune regulator, is expressed by thymic medullary epithelial cells. When T cells are developing, this gene leads to the production of thousands of the body's proteins, and this serves as a test to see whether the T cells react to self proteins. If one does, that T cell either undergoes apoptosis and dies, or it becomes a regulatory T cell, or T reg, that helps to eliminate other immune cells that react to self antigens. In APS type 1, there's a genetic mutation in AIRE that's usually inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. This means that the thymic medullary epithelial cells lose the ability to display the body's different self proteins. Since they can no longer test whether T cells are self reactive or not, the process of immune tolerance does not occur normally, and self reactive T cells are allowed to live. Regulatory T cells are no longer produced normally either, so the body loses a second mechanism for destroying autoimmune cells. This allows for the production of antibodies and lymphocytes that target normal tissues of the body. It is still unclear why, but certain glandular tissues, including the adrenal glands and parathyroid glands, are particularly targeted. There are multiple characteristic signs and symptoms of APS type 1. One of them is polyendocrine malfunction, resulting in hypoparathyroidism, characterized by low calcium and elevated phosphorus in the blood that can cause muscle cramping and seizures, and primary adrenal insufficiency, also called Addison's disease, which can reduce cortisol and aldosterone levels. These hormones normally help to maintain blood pressure among many bodily processes, and their loss can be life-threatening. In addition, chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis is an infection with the yeast candida that affects the skin and nails, as well as mucous membranes, like the mouth, esophagus, and genital mucosa. There's also ectodermal dystrophy, which leads to skin abnormalities like vitiligo, which causes areas of hypopigmentation in nails and corneas, reduced dental enamel, and alopecia, which is where there's hair follicle destruction causing bald spots. Finally, some non-endocrine organs like the liver, intestine, lungs, kidney, salivary glands, and spleen can get inflamed as well. Recognizing the clinical pattern early is particularly important in terms of making a diagnosis and starting treatment early. Diagnosis of APS type 1 is based on the presence of at least two of the three characteristic manifestations, namely chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, hypoparathyroidism, and primary adrenal insufficiency. It also includes DNA testing to look for mutations in the AIRE gene and lab tests for autoantibodies toward interferons, which are common in this condition. Treatment depends on treating the manifestations of the condition that are present in each person. This can include hormone replacement therapy, immunosuppressive medications in those with non-endocrine organ damage, and calcium and vitamin D supplementation in those with hypoparathyroidism. Alright, as a quick recap. APS type 1, or APECED, is a rare genetically inherited condition caused by mutations in the autoimmune regulator, or AIRE, gene that results in a defect in the development of immune tolerance. Signs and symptoms include the malfunction of multiple glands such as the parathyroid and adrenal glands, chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, and ectodermal dystrophy, and autoimmune damage to non-endocrine organs. In individuals that are thought to have the disease, the diagnosis includes the clinical detection of these manifestations along with DNA testing and blood tests to look for interferon targeting autoantibodies. Treatment includes hormone replacement therapy, immunosuppressive medications in those with end organ damage, and calcium and vitamin D supplementation in those with hypoparathyroidism.
helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.